So hey, how you doing uh, musicians? I'm Sean Wilson today. Glad to be with you again this week. I had to play this song this weekend. Uh, you deserve it. I really like this version. Um, it's in the middle, sandwiched in between some other songs, so it's not something I heard before. They use a lot of nice passing movements that I kind of want to go over today. So welcome to the site. Thanks for coming. Glad you're here. And um, let's listen to this, how they play You Deserve It. My Hallelujah Belongs to You. It's in the key of B. And it starts on the four. Y'all hear those passings? Those passing tones, that's what I want to focus on. Because a lot of times we just kind of, we kind of sit in the chords, we want to know what to do in between those phrases. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want right there. So let's look at the passing chords. Let's look at the scale of B. Everybody always says that you should learn your scales. They, are, they always go over the scales before they start. They should be going over the triads, unless you're trying to play a song with one finger. You're trying to play chords, you're not trying to play one finger. You don't just need to know your scales, folks. You gotta know your triads in every key. And this is the reason why on my site, I have a whole course in every single key teaching you the triads in every single key, because that's what you gotta do. You gotta know that the four is major and the five is major. Right, and the six is minor. So if we're going through B, this is the one, the two, the three, the four. Don't just do your scale, do your triads, right? Five, or six, six, seven, which is diminished, and one. So before you play any song, run through your triads if, you're, um, if you haven't been playing that long until you have memorized. Now, the song starts on the four. So since I'm in the, <clears throat> since we're in the key of B, that's gonna be an E. So my hallelujah belongs to five, six. So four, five, six, this is gonna be the chord here. It's just a different way to play this chord, okay? Belongs to, okay? And then you, the A major chord. This is not my focus here, so I'm not spending a lot of time on this. My hallelujah belongs to. Now, they have this really neat thing they do on the one right now. Most people are just gonna hold this one, and that's perfectly fine. B, F sharp, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, and B, right? They just kind of hold it while they wait for the E chord. You, and then my hallelujah, so they can they can hold that. There's nothing wrong with that. But this the, this video is about giving you maybe a couple passing chords that you can use while you're waiting on this chord for such a long time. So I, I want to hear what they did again and because that was kind of cool uh, see that <laughs> that kind of thing was perfect so my hallelujah belongs to you my hallelujah belongs to you Okay, so, so what's going on there? Now that movement is not a beginner movement, okay? <laughs> it's definitely an, uh, a little bit past beginner, but I'm gonna show you the movement. The movement is D sharp, and then we go to a B chord here in the right hand, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. Hit an F sharp at the bottom and then hit a C sharp at the bottom. And then we're gonna have a, uh, two series of diminished chords back to back. Right, which is a B diminished seventh. So B G sharp, B D F G sharp, B flat diminished seventh, B flat, G, C sharp, E, G, B flat, and then this is this is the chord I'm in. I like this chord, so I'm just gonna, this is what I'm gonna use it in. A flat minor six. <laughs> Alright, so it's an A flat, E flat, F. B. I should be calling sharps because I'm in the key of B, so technically I should be saying all sharps, but, all right. 
D sharp, F, and then B. So, hmm, really nice. And then, and then, my Amelia belongs. All right, so that that's okay. So let's hear it in context, though. Okay, so that, that's how you do it. Now, I want to I want to go back to um, a lower level. So for beginners who are watching this, um, let's just all I want you to do is um, my hallelujah belongs to you. I want you to go. So those are nice melodic lines that sound really good. And because, you know, this song has a lot, um, you know, if you have a bass player with you, you've got a click track going on. You don't want to do too much anyway. So you can just kind of do that. It sounds nice. F sharp, C sharp, E sharp, F sharp, A sharp, B, and then go to your next chord. Yeah, belongs to you. And then if you're, again, at the beginner level, I would go, um, E, F sharp, A, and C sharp. Remember this chord. Take this E down a half step to a D sharp. And with this chord with the left hand, play an F sharp. And when you go down a half step, play a B. This is for the beginner level, okay? So, so it sounds like this. And it's nothing wrong with that, and it sounds great, and it's easy to pull off. So, my hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah. See, sounds good. So now we've got something for intermediate. And then we have the beginner. Now let's have something else that's intermediate, maybe just a tad more advanced than intermediate. Now let's look, they did something else here. Trying to make sure I hit all these levels. <laughs> we got people watching who are advanced, and people who watching who just started out. Trying to make sure that uh, everybody gets something. Good. See that part there? I want to do something else though. Um, so instead of doing that, what I would like to do is I would like to approach this using a Lydian voicing. So the way that would sound. Um, my hallelujah belongs to you, right? Let's, let's slow down. Something like that, right? And I like the way that sounds. It uses a Lydian voicing, and I want to discuss really quickly what a Lydian is. Um, the Lydian sound takes the fourth note. See, here's a scale of B major. The fourth note is E. So it takes that fourth note and goes up a half step. So um, what we have to understand is that the movement that I just did was just based off the Lydian scale. Okay, and I skipped the A sharp and then it went to the B, C sharp, and then it E. Okay, so now let me let me tell you two reasons why I chose the Lydian scale. All right, so the two reasons I chose the Lydian scale is because the Lydian scale is a very bright scale. It's made of stacking perfect fifths. Okay, and. Those perfect fifths, when you bring those together and arrange them in order, form a Lydian scale, which makes one of the brightest scales. It's a really great scale to use these kind of transitions on. Um, the second reason I chose the Lydian scale was because I liked um, having a series of diminished movements from F to F sharp. And I'm talking on an intermediate to advanced level right now. All right, so I, I like that instead of going from a whole step, which is what the original scale calls for. 
right? So the Lydian scale has that half step interval. And since I know I wanted to use diminished movements, I like how diminished movements sound half when the when the melody line is going a half step. All right, so remember this is personal. So right hand. It belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. Okay, so that's that. Now let's get the left hand. So left hand's gonna go. And then the neat thing about after you go to this A, B, A flat, A, then go to a D, all white notes down. D, C, B, A, G, F. And then let's go to a B, B, E. So let's put them together, sound like this. Okay, now we just gotta fill these in with chords. <laughs> okay, and, and, and again, um, what we've done is finding chords, there is no perfect science with this. It's really just what my ear wants to hear. Um, what I'm feeling will work. Um, and so I, I like that Lydian sound. Check out how they sound when we put these together. See that coin? Okay, works really well. Um, and so let's explain that. Then when you get to that F, see that forces me to use, see, I love that sound there. So when you get to the F, use a diminished chord. It's a diminished seven there. And D diminished seven, then use a C diminished seven, which is C, F sharp, A, D sharp, F sharp. If I've totally lost you, I'm in advance, you need to log into the website. I teach the whole song here on the website, okay? And uh, I do a little bit easier than this. <laughs> B, F, G sharp, B, D, F, G sharp. And then I use a series of dominant sounding chords. Which is a nice, really a nice progression there. But you see how that downward movement in the left hand but the upward movement in the right hand, I love that, how that sounds. So, you know, when you get here, we have this B dominant here, but the A is on the, the seventh on the bottom. Okay, so just the B chord. Just play all the notes in the B chord but instead of having a B at the bottom, put an A at the bottom. And then, okay. Okay, again, like an A dominant. That's why I said a series of dominants. So this is just an A chord. But instead of putting an A at the bottom, put a G at the bottom. The seventh note is going at the bottom. And then this chord, which really doesn't have a name, but I like how it sounds. All right, and then, then I'm resolving it with this chord here. It's rootless B7 here. So E flat, A, B, F sharp, B, D sharp. Let's see how that sounds. Oh, I don't know if it's going to sound well playing it with him, though. Um, I don't know how that's going to sound well with him, though. I have to cut him off. <laughs> But these are these are nice little passing movements that you can use um, while you're playing. And so this song Let me has. Up, lift your voice tonight. Say my hallelujah. That's a very major. See, it, when you heard that progression, it's a very major sounding progression. So, So that's a very major sounding possession is using the B major scales, using that E, and that's the reason I changed it to the Lydian, because the Lydian gives me a little bit of a brighter sound. Right? 
And so that's the reason I kind of chose Lydian for that. Um, so experiment with your own things because again, this, this video is just kind of really on passing chords, some ideas that you can use. The song is in the key of B, so um, it's not a key that a lot of us are used to playing in often. <laughs> so again, learn your scale, learn your triads, and you'll find that most of the songs that you're playing will use it, those triads and extensions of those triads. And so after that, it's just a matter of learning your own passing chords and then, and then you'll, you'll get it pretty good. So that's what this video is about, using passing chords with You Deserve It. Thanks again for watching, you guys. Go check out if you're a member of all of I, I teach this whole song, all right? And so I want you to go check that out. Thanks again for watching. I'm Miggy Fell for you too, so check that out. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week.